John McKinty from Incantation. Uh, Incantation ni they form in 18 uh, 1989. Dan dia orang ni memang macam forefather lah kalau kalau uh, from New Yorkers punya death metal along with demolition suffocation okay. uh, jadi uh, ini kali ketiga dah hujung ke Asia eh. dan di Malaysia ini kali kedua first time uh, 2015 dia main dengan funerals DJB jadi uh, pada 30 ni uh, incantation akan main DKL 2 days ago I went to record store DKL Okay. Quite legendary record store. So I, I tell the uh, the uncle there, eh, Uncle Lim, uh, telling that Incantation will be playing in KL next week. So they, they, uh, he, he he said to me, that's an old band, right? Oh yes, because this is a legendary uh, metal shop, no? Yeah, big, amazing, yeah. Because in Malaysia. We never sell any incantation uh, album. <laughs> we, never, we never sell, <laughs> and we never got any original uh, stuff. Uh, stuff from incantation. Yeah. But all the kids know about this band, and the only one uh, we got is only uh, on what to Golgotha, yeah. and and that's a bootleg cassette. You know? yeah, yeah. Oh. So totally, people only know oh. bootlegs. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So I, I thought uh, it's amazing. I have to tell you about this. Yeah. Yeah. It's quite a shock, isn't it? Yeah. That's, that's why we, we buy your stuff directly <laughs> from the records, you know? Yeah. From the labs and uh, your record. Your record. Formerly, when was the first time you uh, in touch with Malaysian metalhead or ASEAN generally? I, I can't, re can't remember the first time, but I mean, pretty early on in our career, I possibly even when I was in my former band Revenant, I might have gotten mail from Malaysia because uh, I mean, there was always a big Southeast Asian underground death metal scene yes. back from you know, whenever I started doing mail which was probably around in 88, 89 or something like that when I first started like a lot of writing and stuff in the underground I knew about Malaysia, so I mean, you know, I probably, since then, I mean, I remember fanzines and just, yes. you know, a lot of fans and stuff like that from there. It was, I was really surprised because I, I've only, you know, I didn't really know much about Malaysia, you know, I didn't, <laughs> before that, I didn't, I barely knew anything. I might have heard about it once before, but then I kind of got to really, you know, relate uh, Malaysia and Southeast Asia with bunch of um, death metal freaks so that's kind of cool and now it's kind of interesting to finally be able to be here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia um, you know to actually see a place where I originally got letters and um, messages from early on so it's, it's you know it's fucking killer to be able to play metal and, and to be able to really relate to people all across the world regardless of where the hell they're from you know it's fucking awesome few few days ago I read an interview with uh, uh, from Evolver magazine with you. Okay. And they're telling about your old Craig, the former singer. And it was in, interest, interesting when you say uh, in that interview I, I read, you said you doesn't care anything about your background, whether it's Nazi or Antifa. As you whether Whoever you are, you can come and enjoy our music. So, I think, uh, so for you, only music is real matter. Yeah, uh, what's so, the thing is, uh, I'm, not, so, I'm not concerned about the politics uh, of the music. For me, music is supposed to be about getting away from all that bullshit, you know? I mean, I have my own personal beliefs on stuff, but when it comes to music, you know, I just want to go to see bands that I enjoy, that I have the feeling for. It's not about 
the, their political view or their religious view and all that other stuff. That's stuff for real life, you know. Yeah. When you go to a show, uh, especially, at least I look at it as you go to an incantation show, mm -hmm. it's to get away from all the bullshit in life, you know. <laughs> yeah, and, um, enjoy it. You know, we don't, you know, you know, and there's just because, I mean, let's be honest, all religions... And all all political views, everything they all have their Looney Tunes, their crazy mm, people. I agree that. You know, no matter what what it is, you know. Mm. But you know, for me, it's like I'm just interested in the metal people, the people that you know relate to our music, and fuck all the <laughs> bullshit as far as you know yeah. what people do on their own time or what they worship or what they fucking think uh, politically. That at least for the time they go to our show, they can forget about all the bullshit yeah. and just have a good time, fucking headbang and just fucking rage yeah. and just kill each other in a good way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so how, how come you uh, get in touch with Goat Law and play in Malaysia? Uh, with Rose, actually? <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I mean, I've been in touch with Ventbox for a while, so I've been trying to, um, you know, I've been talking to them and then trying to uh, work something out for you know Asia just in general mm -hmm. and we wanted the places we wanted to play you know we definitely wanted to play in Malaysia we didn't know exactly where if KL was the best place <laughs> or maybe there's um, you know I know Johor uh, we've been to before with uh, Phoenix I was mm -hmm. there but um, you know, he offered it up and I was like hell yeah we'll definitely play there I mean I, I know it's the uh, but the biggest city in uh, Malaysia and um You know, we just want to play for our fans here, and you know, I'm hoping that people will be able to make the trip out from all the parts of Malaysia too to check us out and definitely be killer. You know? Okay. Uh, and you start doing vocal in 2004, right? Sounds about right. Uh, and and I now. Didn't take a note when it was. <laughs> <laughs> and now, uh, so you tell me you're going to work out with your new drummer, eh? Yeah. Yeah. So, how is it going? Well, so far so good, but um, the, it surely make me scared, you know, to see <laughs> in the, this Friday. Yeah. <laughs> If she can deliver. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I'll I'll know I'll know how everything goes real soon because um, you know sooner we're gonna be practicing pretty much every day that we're in uh, KL. Um, You know, until the show, making sure that everything is is done right and stuff like that. There's a proper vibe and everything. But yeah, I mean, um, you know, obviously we're really confident with um, you know Dan's work and stuff. We've I've watched um, Dan play before. He played with Impiety before in the past, and played with a few other bands. So I know that he's more than capable. He's been sending me videos and stuff of his playing. So um, you know. I could tell that he's really put a lot of heart and soul into trying to learn the songs in the traditional way, which is something mm -hmm. very important to us because when we play, it has to sound very sincere, real, yeah. you know, uh, has to be a, a proper vibe, you know, and I'm going to make sure that um, all our fans in Asia are going to be able to get, um, you know, the proper uh, total death incantation uh, experience, you know. Okay. Okay. Do, do you, okay. Do you know uh, any bands that you know since uh, since 1918 that you said before from Malaysia? Do you know um, Snelly? I I don't I don't know that many bands personally. Okay. I mean, I just know um, you know Impiety. I've known since mm. the early days and stuff, and I've gotten to play shows with them and. You know, friends with uh, those guys. So, but um, as far as other um, Malaysian bands, I mean, there's other ones, but um, I don't, I can't remember. I, I get confused that they were from Singapore, Malaysia. <laughs> oh, was right. Abhor, was it? Oh, Abhor. Uh, Abhor. Uh, Malaysia uh, or Singapore? Singapore. Uh, Singapore, 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 Singapore okay, yeah. okay, so yeah, I forget. Same same impact, yeah, yeah, well, Singapore used to be part of Malaysia, so mm, does yes, that yes. count? <laughs> yeah. No, okay. Yeah. Anyway, but. <laughs> 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 um, What was it? Uh, right. <laughs> there's a few other bands, but I, I I can't think of right now. My brain is fried from uh, flying for like 20 something hours. So, but I, there are there are a couple of 
uh, heavy metal bands I remember from back here, but I just can't think of it at the moment. Okay, I've been talking to Carl uh, 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 about a minute ago before we take it, uh, pick you up about your new metro, which is uh, faster. Yeah. Uh, I mean, less doomer, less doomy than before. Yeah. So, and we also see saw your your image also now a bit darker than before with all the spike. So, uh, how Where come? You well, <laughs> I don't really think that we're faster than before. Cause I mean, I don't know. I think that our the newest album, Profane Nexus, has a mixture between some of our fastest stuff and a lot a good amount of slower stuff too. So I think it's, um, I don't know, I think it's well-rounded. I think all of our albums have been well-rounded. I mean, mm -hmm. we have gotten faster over the years, but we've also gotten slower over the years. So I think um, both extremes are, um, you know, kind of what we, we like to go for. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, we, I've been wearing um, Spikes live pretty much since about probably 94 or something like that. Um, it's just more of a nod to the um, old school metal that I grew mm. up with, you know, like, mm. you know, back in the day, you know, bands yeah. like Iron Maiden and yeah. stuff I grew up oh, with, they, they wear yeah. some spikes or yeah. bands like Exciter and, <laughs> and um, whatever, you know, any of those bands. So, you know, now I still wear, I, I don't, it's changed over the years never i never totally spiked it up too crazy i was never like uh absu or nothing oh, where so many spikes i can't move practically <laughs> but i mean as far i've always had like you know some stuff uh some leather and spikes but now i just keep it to the one um the one gauntlet i wear as kind of a nod to the old school but i mean honestly we've always thought more that it's not so important the image i mean mm. we want it we want to come across intense and brutal mm. and aggressive that goes with the music but we don't want to be dependent on just having too image, much of an image yeah. we want more of the music mm. to um, be the main focus of the band mm. how excited you are with this show this coming friday yes and your message to the nation metalhead well i mean i'm really excited for the show um you know, like I said, for me, it's our first time playing in Malaysia, so, you know, it means a lot to me personally to be able to get that opportunity, and, you know, I'm looking forward to, you know, meeting all the um, fans, old and new, and hanging out, and just having a fucking killer, raging, fucking sick fucking night of total <laughs> death, you know, so I'm definitely looking forward to, um, you know, playing Okay. Okay, Al, yeah. It's gonna, yeah. For me, it's gonna be one of my, um, you know, bucket list things. That I, as a musician, you know, it's, I've accomplished so much as a musician over the years. We've toured so many places, done so much stuff. Fortunate to have fans all over the world that enjoy your stuff. So, it's for us, you know, this is like conquering new territory, you know, and. Want, you know, definitely looking forward to playing for all you sick Malaysian fucks, you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay.